All right, I want to talk about nutgrass in the yard today. This is what nutgrass looks like. Some people call this nutgrass. Some people call it nuts edge. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. There's one important thing we need to do when we're spraying this to kill it besides what we're using to spray it. But the first thing you really need to know is what you have. This is nutgrass. Why I'm making the video is so you can see it if you have it in your yard. Your selective herbicides that you would use for other weeds are not going to kill this. It's not going to touch it. There's one herbicide that we use specifically for nutgrass. And there's one really important thing you need to do before you spray it to make sure you get a good kill on it. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. This is what nutgrass looks like. If you have it in your yard, we're going to show you how to easily take care of it. All right, we're back. This is what you have to do to make sure you kill it. You have to mow it first. You can see the nutgrass is just barely sprouted now. Now we're not going to have a problem killing it. But anytime you're spraying stuff like this, you need to make sure you mow it. You can wait a day or two at the most. And then you need to spray it. It's going to kill it real easy. A lot of people spray it when it's fully grown. When it's eight inches long, it's big, it's healthy, it's thriving. You can spray it, it's not going to kill it. it. Might turn it yellow and it's just going to keep coming back. And that's why a lot of people think it's hard to kill this stuff. But you have to mow it, just like with any weed. Mow it first, then spray it. Your herbicide, when you spray it, it's going to find it and you're going to kill it and it's going to be simple but we're going to show you what to spray on it now because it's very important there's really one herbicide that we use all the rest of them are are kind of like knockoffs so that's what we're going to do next let's talk about what you're going to use to kill the nut grass so there's a lot of different things that you're going to see at the store to use this is the best thing to use think of it like this this is coca-cola everything else that you're going to see is uh, knockoff brands sedge hammer this is what you want uh, you can buy this on amazon i like this one it comes with a little scooper here they also sell it in little pre-packaged uh, packets i wouldn't buy those they're too expensive you can get a lot more bang for your buck out of this a lot cheaper but this is what you want to use don't worry about everything else that says it kills nut grass this is the best it's always been the best everything else is just trying to beat this so this is what we're going to use. Let's talk about mixing it. You're going to use one of these little scoopers per gallon of water. We're going to mix two gallons. That's what we need to spray today. Very important when you're spraying, this is called surfactant for herbicides. What this does is a sticking agent. It's going to help your herbicide stick to the leaf of the nutgrass. This right here does not have surfactant in it. Some herbicides that you buy will have surfactant already in it. This does not hurt your grass. It doesn't do anything. Here we go. So you're gonna do one scoop per gallon of water. This is what this stuff looks like. See if I can get it to focus and I can't. Just little pellets, but pour it in there. That's one. Nice even scoop, that's two. So we're done with that on our surfactant, about a tablespoon per gallon. So I'm gonna pour it, sorry. And I'm gonna pour it again. That's it, we're gonna put two gallons of water in it right now, and we're gonna mix it up. All right, so we're gonna add our water, we're gonna turn it on. But very important, anytime you're mixing any kind of herbicide, you wanna make sure that you put it in empty, then add your water to it. What that's doing, it's gonna help that get mixed around better and then when we get done we're going to make sure that we shake this up really really good but we've got two gallons right there we're ready to start spraying and killing some nut grass all right so we've got everything mixed up so we're going to start spraying we just want to do a good liberal coating of everything don't worry about trying to exactly put it on the nut grass it's going to find it it's a nice fine mist but the biggest biggest thing in this video is what to spray it with but most importantly you have to mow it first you have to knock it down after you knock it down it's going to kill it really easy if for some reason you do spray it and it doesn't kill it you either didn't soak it good enough or you didn't mix it strong enough because it works 
it's just something that takes a little bit of practice but you know, this is something real easy make sure you mow it down first it's going to stress it and then we're going to finish it off with the herbicide but thanks for watching i'm going to link or maybe not link i'll probably just describe the products that we use that way if you want to buy them uh you remember what they say what i said and you don't have to go back on the video but thank you and i'll post a video later showing how this cleaned it up